Camera Hacks. Turn any camera lens into a macro lens in 60 seconds. What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. It feels so weird. It feels like it's been nine months. Technically because it has, but secretly it's not. Because I made a video about two months ago, which was on noise reduction and sharpening. Anyways, welcome to another video. My name is Samar Ali Khan. Bro, these cars man, taking the p today. Welcome to another video. My name is Samar Ali Khan and you're watching Samar Photography. I'm sure you've already read the title, but today I'm going to show you guys how to turn any camera lens into a macro lens in 60 seconds. So let's put a timer on the clock for 60 seconds. But before we do that, let me show you guys a few macro shots that I took on my own. All right, now let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is grab a camera body and one interchangeable camera lens, meaning that a lens that can be attached and detached at any time. Then detach the camera lens if it's already attached to the camera body and reverse it and place the front element of the camera lens and place it in front of the camera sensor and then turn the camera on and that's it. Go shoot some madness, but nothing haram because I'll secretly come headbutt you. And you know this, man. Wait, that was 30 seconds. So we still have another 30 seconds left. So let me give you a few tips and tricks on how to use this technique correctly. So in my opinion, this technique works best if you use a camera lens with a small front element and a camera lens with a wide aperture. So I'm using the 50 millimeter f1.8, which has a wide aperture of f1.8. And it also has a smaller front element. So it's a bit easier and it doesn't get scratched. And another thing to consider with this technique is that this technique is the best for extreme macro photography. So if you wanted to get really small details, some sort of writing or engraving, that's like the best way to do it. And another thing to keep in mind is for you to use a fast shutter speed and a high burst rate. This is so you can capture the moment that you want easily without you know you losing focus quite quickly. Because you don't have any autofocus and your front element isn't attached to your camera, you kind of have to move back and forth with your body or with your hands. So it has a really shallow depth of field and a tight plane of focus. So it's a bit difficult to capture a whole object within this macro shot. So definitely keep that in mind. So guys, as always, if you like this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, then go ahead and give it a dislike. But either way, let me know with a comment down below why you like this video or why you dislike this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as my technology channel called The Electric Bulb, where I show different budget gear and tech reviews. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a good summer, Beyonce!